Hello everyone. Welcome back to All About Sustainability. Today, we're exploring an innovative way to produce green hydrogen using wastewater treatment and renewable energy. Let's break down this exciting process. The system uses electricity from renewable sources like solar power, the wind energy or hydroelectric power plants. This power is used to run an electrolyzer with a capacity of to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. To know about different types of electrolyzers kindly refer above series. Wastewater enters an ASP aerobic wastewater treatment system. Water from homes, industries, and other sources flows into the treatment plant. This water contains waste, organic matter, and harmful pollutants. Special aeration tanks bubble oxygen into the water. The oxygen helps good bacteria grow and break down the waste. The bacteria use the oxygen to digest organic matter, chemicals, and pollutants. This process cleans the water naturally. After treatment, the water is much cleaner and safer. The treated water is then released as effluent. To make green hydrogen, electrolyzers need ultra-pure water which means water that has almost no impurities like salts, minerals, or bacteria. Since treated wastewater still contains some impurities, we need to purify it further before using it in an electrolyzer. Under softening, the treated water first passes through filters that remove sand, dirt, and tiny solids. Water is pushed through a special membrane that undergoes reverse osmosis which blocks salts, heavy metals, and bacteria. Even after reverse osmosis, some tiny charged particles, ions, are still present. In demineralization and degassing process, special resins, chemical materials, trap these ions, making the water almost completely pure. Final polishing, the water goes through activated carbon filters or UV disinfection to remove any last traces of organic matter or bacteria. At this stage, the water is 99.99% pure and ready for the electrolyzer. The electrolyzer generates with ultra-pure water hydrogen, which is compressed and stored in tube trailers. Hydrogen is further compressed and stored at a filling station for fueling fuel cell electric buses SEBs. Oxygen, a byproduct of electrolysis, is compressed and stored for wastewater treatment aeration. Why is this important? Uses renewable energy solar, to produce green hydrogen. Integrates wastewater treatment for sustainability. Provides clean fuel for hydrogen buses, reducing emissions. Utilizes oxygen byproduct to enhance wastewater treatment. This is a perfect example of a circular economy approach, making hydrogen production and wastewater treatment more efficient and sustainable. This system proves that wastewater isn't waste, it's a resource. This process requires high energy consumption for water purification and electrolysis, which can reduce overall efficiency if not powered by renewable energy. Additionally, the equipment and infrastructure costs for water treatment, hydrogen storage, and transportation are expensive, making large-scale adoption challenging. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more sustainable innovations.